All right, Evan, thank you. A development fight in Chesapeake. There's a proposal to build new homes in Grassfield. But it's not something everyone in that area wants to see. If passed, a developer would build more than 500 homes just off Dominion Boulevard and Scenic Parkway. It's a plan that has current residents pushing back, and Jimmy Lee is live in Chesapeake. Jimmy, what's the concern exactly? Hey, David, residents are concerned that the development will jeopardize their child's education and diminish the value of their homes. City Council was supposed to vote on this tonight, but the developer has asked for a 30 day continuance. So there's a chance there won't be a vote tonight, but that's not stopping the citizens from speaking out. A community of 544 homes could be built here on 119 acres of farmland. That's right in between Grassfield High School and Grassfield Elementary. The confluence at Dominion Park will be a mix of single family homes, townhouses and apartments if it's approved by city council. Our school systems can't support that. Our traffic can't support that. Joanne Gallant not only lives in Grassfield, she's a realtor and licensed appraiser. She says the development will create a traffic nightmare and overcrowd schools, forcing the school district to rezone. That costs them their equity in their property. People will pay an average of $25 to $30,000 more to be in the Grassfield School District. The city planner says her staff addressed all of these issues and ultimately recommended against the project. But the planning commission voted in favor. The president telling us that the project meets the needs of the city's plan to develop the Dominion Boulevard corridor. This development will literally be robbing the equity from the current homeowners here that made Grassfield High School one of the top 500 high schools in the United States. But the developer, the Breeden Company, says it held numerous public meetings addressing these concerns. It has a plan that would help improve traffic, not make it worse. And in its conversations with the city, school rezoning should not be an issue. The decision now lies in the hands of city council. As they prepare for an official vote, residents like Joanne are speaking out, rallying the troops, and urging their leaders to consider what's at stake. Now, I did reach out to the mayor for comment on this issue. He declined to comment until later tonight. I also spoke with Councilman Roland Davis, who told me he wants to wait to hear from the developer and the public before taking a firm stance on this issue. Reporting live in Chesapeake, I'm Jemmy Lee, 13 News Now.